We recently got Starlink because we sold our home and we're living in our camper, and we need to make sure that we have good internet access. When Starlink comes, it comes with this uh, kind of satellite dish type thing, a base, a cord, and a router. But it's on the ground, and when we leave to go to work, we kind of feel like anybody could just come by and grab it and take it with them. So we were looking for some options to be able to secure it better. And we saw other folks that actually had it secured to the ladder on their camper, and I thought, wow, that's a great idea. So we went ahead and ordered a pole that actually connects to this with no drilling. It's uh, semi-permanent, but you can take it off without too much hassle. So it really seemed like a great idea to do something like that because you may need to have it on the ground depending on where you're at, depending on the tree cover, but you also want to have it secure most of the time. So we ordered a pole specifically designed for Starlink from Amazon, and you can actually access that on our website. The address for our website will be in the description below, and it's www.befreebenson.com, and that will take you to a link of all the products we've used and all the different projects that we've done. But this really is kind of an impressive situation. So let me go ahead and pull this out. So first impressions, lightweight aluminum, quite a large tube though, which means that it'll probably be sturdy for in the wind. We look and see what we've got for hardware. Some more stuff up in here. Okay, let's see if there's anything out. There's more stuff. So this setup is called the flagpole buddy. And what I think is even cooler is they actually make the part that connects to your uh, Starlink in like uh, one of Elon Musk's rockets, which is kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so the first part is going to be the adapter or what they call the Starship, because it looks like the Starship. And we've got the aluminum poles. We've got cable clamps for your cable as it goes up the pole. You've got the twist that will hold the pole midway up. You've got the cup that holds the base of the pole. You've got brackets that hold both the twist and the cup. And then you've got a bag of nuts and bolts with an Allen wrench to connect the hardware. And then one additional really cool piece is the flagpole buddy bag, which will hold all of your stuff. So I'm connecting the two poles together. And depending on where you mount them, you probably don't want to go much past the um, second breaker point above the top just to keep it well enough secured to the end. If you had it only secure like this, the wind could easily pull it and push it. So definitely want it to uh, keep the, uh, the split in the poles below the top. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and secure this onto the pole. Now, in a perfect world, I would not be standing on this ladder. So with this, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring it up a little higher than I'll normally have it because I need to put the nuts into the side that kind of hold it. So the whole goal is to get a couple of these things started with each other. Install twist mount and cap on the left side of the ladder. Height should be about even with the roof line. Don't tighten the screws at this time. The holder was designed for the left side of the ladder but can work on the right side of the ladder if rotated outward. Probably the hardest part of this is actually um, just holding yourself on while you're putting the pieces together without dropping the items. Now once these brackets are on here, depending on if you're not living in your RV, you can probably still leave the brackets on. Um, but with anything that's plastic, sorry, anything that's plastic, the sun will degrade it over time. So it's kind of a trade-off by not having to put it on every time, but it will degrade in the, in the sunlight. Okay, so now I've got all of them started. I'm gonna kind of turn it towards me. Just start getting it snugged up a little bit tighter. I'm gonna try to do opposite corners. Okay. 
Remind them that they're not tightening all the way. Yeah, and you're not tightening it all the way right now. You're just getting it kind of snugged up. Okay, so then what they say is you, pro you want this one about even with the roof line. So as I moved it, obviously these poles for the ladder are not exactly straight. So I'm going to just snug it up a little bit more just so it kind of stays in place. Not tight yet, still be able to move it, but for the most part, it's not going to slide down. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the twist piece to mount on here. Okay, so the diagonal piece actually has some teeth that, it'll, that it will grip into this so that you can loosen it and move it around, that type of thing. I'm going to put this on. And then I've got a little nut that I'm going to start in here. Make sure I've got it going on the right way because it's recessed. I just want to kind of get it started if I can <laughs> with my finger because I don't really have a good magnetized. Can you hand me that driver right there? I'm going to have my lovely assistant hand me this nut driver. It's an 11 millimeter nut driver. And Okay, so it's easier to get it started with that. It's hard because you're trying to hold yourself on and do this at the same time. All right, so these are nylon nuts or, or what I like to call aircraft nuts. And they've got a nylon piece in the, inside the nut so it doesn't loosen up after you tighten it up. Not over tight, but, but good, good and firm. Okay, now I am going to go mount the next bracket down low for the cup. Step two, install the cup, mount, and cap on the ladder in the same sequence as the twist. Don't tighten the screws at this time either. The lower holder will set the overall height of your flagpole. I just put this in there temporarily and you can see, actually I shouldn't have tightened that part on the teeth yet because it needs to adjust. I, I wasn't really thinking about that part of it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the part for the cup mount right here, just above this little area so it'll kind of rest on that and uh, get that started. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do real quick is go loosen that up top like I should have done to begin with. I wasn't really thinking about that so I'm going to loosen that up so it'll flex around as I'm moving the pole around. So the cup, that's the part that holds the bottom of the pole. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, mount the cup on here. And on this one, it's a little bit easier. I'm going to actually put my nut into my driver down here. And that's an 11 millimeter nut driver. So I want to make sure it's a little bit looser so that I can kind of flex around as needed. Step three, to vertically align the twist and cup, temporarily install the pole. This will also set the distance between the mounts. Ideally, both mounts should be holding the bottom pole section. This may not be possible on some RVs as not all RVs are the same. The objective is for you to be able to insert the pole from ground level without climbing the ladder. Step four, tighten all the screws and nuts so mounts cannot rotate around the ladder. Now I'm going to tighten the bracket up and remember to get it pretty snug because if the wind blows this, it can, it can actually twist it and let the pole fly out. Okay, so I've tightened everything up and put it in. It seems pretty solid in there. Put it on the angle, pull it, bring it down into the cup very good uh, solid feeling brackets. So now the next step is we're going to put the satellite dish on and get the cables run, do all that. So come along for the ride on that. Okay, so to get the uh, base off, which is a nice steady base, there's a little button you can push. Push that down, that pulls off. Now, there are a couple different ways you can do this. You can actually um, go through the tubing or you can go on the outside of the tubing. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to do just yet. I might, I was thinking I was going to go through the tubing, but I might actually go on the outside and let me tell you why. Because I've got a tree over here and once I get it set, if I don't get a good signal, I may have to move it. So that's why I'm going to go on the outside. 
So the next piece I'm gonna put on is the Starship. And I'm just gonna kinda of try to get that on, have these little push pins pushed in. Let me see that. Okay. I've got some cable clamps that will hold the cable onto the aluminum pole here. And I wouldn't put these on in cold weather. I can feel that if it was cold weather, it might not go on as easy. So I'm gonna go up top. And one right underneath this bracket. So the last piece of this stall is there is a small screw that goes into uh, the back as a set screw and it's actually plastic, which surprised me because I expected it to not be plastic, but it's just in there just enough to make sure that it kind of has uh, some tension on that pole. So I'm just going to tighten that up pretty snug tight there and we should be good to go. So this took about 10 minutes to put in. It really wasn't difficult to do. The most difficult thing was standing on the ladder while I'm trying to fiddle with screws. And I don't particularly like heights, but this really even, that wasn't bad for me either. So pretty easy install. Uh, very impressed with how the quality of everything is and it is lightweight. You've got the bag so you can pack up everything and put it away. For more videos like this, go to our channel and check out our playlist. Also, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. For links to products used and step-by-step -step instructions, you can go to our website at www.befreebenson.com. As always, doing things yourself, reaching out to the satellites and the stars, eventually traveling to Mars. No, I'm just kidding. It all allows you to be free. See you in the next video.